All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Amos Kesta, the back in Asaba. Of course, you can still recognize the the house from the view from our previous video. Uh, this is a greenhouse. We only have a greenhouse here. We don't have a concrete fence system. So the last time we were here, the installation was still going on. We were just about rounding up. So at this point, we are stopping it. Though we have introduced all the snails inside, we have about 53,000 pieces of young snails between the age of two to three months old inside here already we've just done that as a matter of fact we're just rounding up so if you go inside you will see the snails visibly so that's what we're doing and basically i'm going to feed the snails now because we've also watered the environment so before you feed the snails it's a lot easier to manage the system of production because you don't have to go through the rigors of sorting for eggs, incubating the eggs, and also hatching the eggs. Everything here happens naturally. So the snails are introduced already. That's why we brought in young snails, so that it can contain more snails. So we brought in the snails, so for the next 5 to 10 months, we don't worry much about egg production and all the rest. The idea is to fatten the young snails to table size, and we start selling while they also continue multiplying inside the greenhouse so uh, one person can do this job because basically what you do is only to feed the snails you don't do anything else you don't do sorting so after the feeding you lock up the greenhouse until the next day so usually in the evenings you open the drip lines or the sprinklers so for about 10-15 minutes the greenhouse would sprinkle and water itself very well and after the watering immediately you off the sprinklers you feed the snails. So I'm just going to demonstrate briefly how you feed the snails inside the greenhouse because we have our feeding platforms already and also the food part. So we're going to take you inside the greenhouse now. Uh, this is the feed. As you well know, we also have formulated feed for snail that also looks exactly like the poultry feed. So we brought this one out from the back. So we're going to go inside. And go yeah, so you can see the snails, they are all over the place. They are all over the place trying to adjust to the new surroundings. So all these snails you're seeing here were raised on the concrete pen and now we're introducing them into the greenhouse. So the vegetation has taken shape and it's ready so we have actually introduced the snails. So you can see they're just everywhere at the moment because we just do the stocking now. So after a period of time, probably tomorrow if you come, you may not see them, much of them outside because they'll all be under the vegetation and of course under the these platforms. I believe there's some under already. So you can see what we're talking about. So this is how it's going to be. So they spend most of the day under this feeding platform. In the night, they come on top to feed because that's where we're going to spray the feed. So this is how you sprinkle the feed on the feeding rack. So that's why we call this feeding rack. So in the evening, you just do this after watering the pens. So you just sprinkle it like this on top. Of course, some food will go to the vegetation, like you can see, and they pick from even the vegetation and also the feeding rats. So this, where I'm standing, is a foot mat. Now, if I pick this up, ah, uh, you can see some snails down there. That's why we have these legs. So without these legs, immediately you stand on this, you crush everything here. But with the legs now, it also provides additional shade for the snails. So that's where we make this the food part, where we can actually assess the feeders. So you sprinkle the feed like this. In the night, the snails will come up to feed. And during the daytime, they go back under the feeding racks. So that's just exactly how we have designed it. So this is the first day. And that's why you're seeing all the snails outside. So we've actually stocked with 53,000 snails. The, the stocking capacity here is 60,000, but maximum the greenhouse can carry up to 80,000, 100,000 snails. 
But as they continue to grow, these are just three months old, two, three months old. So between now and the next 12 months, we can actually start marketing these snails. So while we start marketing these snails, they would have laid enough eggs to start bringing up a new generation. Because once they get to nine months old, they start laying as well. So what they lay will hatch and keep coming up while the bigger sizes of what we have here already will be introduced to the market. So this is simpler, it's easier to manage, but it must be within your premises where you have a good eye over it. Because if you have all this number of snails here and you just keep this for someone to supervise for you, the person can pick your snails and sell on a daily basis and you won't know what you have inside here. So usually when you want to do the concrete, sorry, the greenhouse alone, ensure that you have uh, a good view of your farm and also is within a confined area where you can give account of what is going on. Otherwise, you must have a concrete system with it where you keep records of anything that comes into the greenhouse. So that way your farm manager is more careful in order not to do or play a fast one on you because the record of everything it brings in here must reflect and also as well monitored. So this is how the greenhouse is built and also managed. So if you come in, we'll just show you more ideas. So this is a one-man job. You don't need more than one person to do this. So one person can actually manage two greenhouses or three greenhouses. But what you see me doing is what the person is supposed to do every day. So after feeding like this, you lock up the greenhouse till tomorrow evening again. And you open the pipes so that the water will circulate. After circulating for 15 minutes, you off it, you come back and you feed. So there's no taking out of leftover because there's definitely not going to be a leftover and whatever that is left can still be take, consumed the next day. So that's pretty much what it is and it's quite simple and it's more accommodating and also more pocket friendly compared to the concrete system. But uh, of course, we're not going to say it all in one video. So at this point, we're going to say thank you. God bless you. We promised you to bring back uh, the stocking video here when we made the first video. So that's exactly what we have done. So until we come your way again, my name remains Mr. Amos Kesta, the CEO of Kesta Amos Consultancy Services Limited. And the phone number to reach us is plus 2348-068-5250. God bless you and bye-bye.